going to be a little bit of shameless self-promotion here. And I'm, and I'm not ashamed of it. You guys are all me. We're all in sales. We're here to raise the game. I'm going to talk about myself. You should be talking about yourself. This is a business, and I think you'll agree, of supreme confidence. Would you agree? It's a business of supreme confidence. There are sources out there on a daily basis trying to take you down. How many times people say to me, Andy, do you have a business card? I'd love to follow up with you. You know what, folks? And if you don't, you say, well, here's my number, here's my website, here's blah, 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 blah. They ain't calling. They ain't calling. They're going to write it down on a cocktail nap, and they're going to blow their nose on it. They're going to flush it down the toilet. They're going to whatever. It's going to go to the dry cleaners. They ain't going to call you, Charles, unless you have that business card. Playing to win. Playing to win. This is about elevating your game. So it was a matter of finding the right person on my team, okay, to get me to the level where I can play at the top of my game. We ask for things in general. Intrusive, okay. Anything else? How about the fear of rejection? How about the fear that somebody will say, no, Scott, I don't need that. My brother-in-law is in the business. I've got one. Right? I can't afford it. All of those things that were happening to you, how about that fear of rejection? But isn't the answer no before you ask anyway? So what can you get out of it? You can get a what? You can get a yes. Yes. The reason, the reason I do so much shameless self-promotion, and I'm, I'm proud of it, and really 50 was like an awakening for me. It's crazy. It's, an, it's, 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 it's been inspiring. It's because if you've got a message to tell, you find out what it is and how you reach people and the things that you do, you guys all and gals have to find that inside of you, again, to play at the top of your game. One of my favorites is the Chinese proverb that says, there's great opportunity in pain. Great opportunity in pain. So whether it's personal, relationships, business. We face a lot of rejection, folks. We get people all day long telling us, no, Mike, I don't want that, don't need that, can't afford that. And again, you go home and you get kicked by the spouse. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to, to venture out and to try something new. Again, go back to the athletes. Go back to missing seven, I mean, you could strike out seven out of ten times, but as long as you get those three hits, you're still going to the Hall of Fame. It's incredible. A meeting is never a bad thing, right? To go in and get the field, get comfortable, build the rapport. And I shot back and I said, you know, you're not thinking about this from a sales perspective. And he said, I'm not a sales guy. I'm a pension consultant. I was like, oh, God, I haven't responded yet. But is there ever a downside to having a face-to-face -face meeting with a prospect or a client? If there is, tell me. Tell me. Are we rapport building? Are we about people? Or are we about products? I don't think of myself as a sales guy, and I'm not motivated by money. That might shock you until you go out and you see my 2003 Chrysler Sebring on the parking lot with two... 125,000 miles on it. And I told myself when I was 50, I was going to get that big 7 Series BMW. I'm going to get it when I'm 50. And guess what? I'm beyond 50, and I don't want it. I don't want it. It's insignificant to my life. Your chances of success and satisfaction are greater if you love the work that you do. The reason that I'm here this morning, and Denny has allowed me to come in and talk to you guys, is I love this. I love this, and this allows me to be successful at my day job. Those of you who know me and know me best, and Denny has said it, because I speak all over the country, this website, uh, this whole thing has been incredible. We had like 200 people sign up for the, I mean, it's just been phenomenal, and we haven't even launched it yet. The marketing strategist I have is brilliant. We haven't even, we're already talking a TV show. 
because I think we've touched a nerve. And the nerve is, and I tell people, I'm you. You know, the little guy out there, I don't know how you guys feel, but the banks aren't lending money and nothing's trickling down from Washington. Nothing's trickling down from Washington. You're struggling, your clients are struggling. A lot of folks out there are struggling. There's a message to tell. And so that's really what motivates me. So I love what I do, but can I... Be in the moment, be present, be, be aware of every opportunity, we're going to get into that, because there is opportunity everywhere. There's opportunity everywhere. It's astounding, the opportunity. I can't get to the activity that we have. I can't get to people fast enough and close it fast enough. Can't do it. I think one of the things that we do that you can all do, okay, and this is the shameless self-promotion piece because I don't think it's rocket science. I said Bradley's the smartest guy in the room. Maybe I'm on the dumber end, okay? But here's the thing. I create markets. You have got to create markets, people. You've got to create markets. Be aware of those arms to take you down. The mental acuity. We talked about the physical, the mental piece, Sherry. It's getting up every single day and doing it again. But the chances are still you're going to fail. How badly do you want it? When you wake up every morning, what are your goals? Don't expect people to call you. And don't expect when you get a referral and they say, Alice, I'll have so-and-so call you. That don't work. Don't work. What Alice is going to say is, you know what? People are so busy, and I really appreciate that, Mike. You mind if I call them? Because the only thing you can control is your behavior. Just say you're an expert. And really, not to be glib, you put yourself out there. What I've been able to do, I was joking, somebody said something, I was talking to somebody on the phone about the radio show. I think it was Gordon, you and I were talking about the show and all that, and I said, yeah, I'm an overnight success after 20 years. You've heard that expression. I've worked every bit, Denny knows it, and he'll tell you, I've worked my butt off for this opportunity, and golly, I'm going to grab that brass ring and take it. And if we go to New York or L.A. with the TV show and look out Oprah, I'll be jumping on that couch like Tom Cruise. You bet your butt. You guys can be experts at whatever it is that you do. So whether it's charitable planning, and Brad's the guy who loves, is passionate about charitable planning, he's an expert. Do you call yourself an expert? You talk to you, do you promote that stuff? Right. And I was responsible for, for talking about how do you apply excellence to your practice, which we cover on the show. How do you go into your office on a daily basis, and how do you deliver and bring excellence into what you do? For those of you guys, it's your practice. Celebrate those around you. If you're not having fun at this, in my opinion, you're not going to be successful at this. You're going to be better at this if you're having fun at this, if you're celebrating. It's not about you. It's never about you. It's not about me. You have to be willing to be humble and self-deprecating. Ask yourself, what are you good at? What are you bad at? Any of you working on your weaknesses? You're wasting your time. Anybody working on their strengths? Denny? All right. Ramp it up. Let go of the weaknesses, guys. You're always going to be bad at that. Math was never my thing. I ain't starting at 50. Right? It doesn't matter. Because the things you're better at, you feel better at, you're going to be more accomplished, the more successful you're going to be. Anybody in the room have birthdays? Come on, how many people have birthdays in the room? Right? Is your birthday a celebration? Can you turn the celebration into an event? Can you turn it into an opportunity? Can you connect people? 
through the celebration of your birthday. See where I'm going with this? It's okay to make it about you if the beneficiary is somebody else, your client, your prospect. 